Welcome back to the big board. Don't think of this as a how-to. Think of this as a, a tactical tip or a, a mechanical tip or something of that nature, uh, uh, in particular for World of War 85. So there's an interesting situation that sort of evolved here in this scenario, and that is that I've got this Leopard 1 in an improved position in the woods down the slope. Ostensibly, he's, you know, guarding this approach, but, you know, the, the checks being sneaky, as they are, said, let's come down this road, and I've got nothing to, you know, shoot at, uh, able to shoot at them because of the slope that's here. So, depending on the cadence of the cards that come out, the, the sequencing of the cards that come out, you know, these guys, maybe they could have moved up, fired, and then moved back, and done a moving shot. And that's actually something I probably should have done last activation. But I decided to keep my powder dry and just wait for them to approach. Well, I'm sitting here thinking, as the check player, thinking, hmm, I've got T-55s, I've got reactive armor, which is not really going to help me against the Leopards because they're strictly AP. So how am I going to push up against this guy and do the most damage, <clears throat> given that he's in an improved position and he's going to get to ignore the first hit? So... Well, I thought, well, you know, the first thing I want to do is, is drive this stack up adjacent and just blast away and do a moving fire shot. I'm like, oh, that sounds pretty cool, Kevin. Uh, but, you know, if I do that straight off the bat, well, he's just going to op fire me and maybe he'll do something bad to my HQ or to one of my tanks. So I thought, well, I had these two guys back here, right? So uh, something like this, I believe. So I can come down one, two, three to here. And uh, he can see me here, so he could take a shot in the open, but the leopards decide not to because they're thinking the same thing because I'm playing solo, uh, that, uh, you know, hey, maybe I should uh, wait for this guy to come up because we want to hit the guy that can do the most damage to me. So I spend the extra two movement points, five. He still doesn't take the up fire, but now I'm set up for the next turn to have a, a, a great shot, assuming, assuming I get a chance to have that shot. Right. Well, so let's uh, keep piling on the pressure. One, two, three. Now, does he want to up fire? Well, he could, but once again, he's going to say, "Yeah, you know what? I'm in the improved position. You can now take a moving fire shot, Mister T55, hot shot, check tank driver guy." And so he's going to get to roll three dice with a six to hit, but because he's at half range, it's three dice with a five to hit. So that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But whoa, just hang on there one second. He expended at least one movement point and up to half his movement points, round it down. So he's gonna lose two of his firepower dice because he's moving, right? He doesn't have the stabilizers, doesn't have all the modern tech. I mean, he's from Czechoslovakia for, for, for crying out loud, right? So he gets to roll one D6 minus one. Thanks for playing. Rolls a two, no effect. Both these guys are now ops complete. There's your first little tactical tip from me on how I think you can you can approach things. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye.